All right, hello, hello everybody. I am getting ready to do my videos. So I'm gonna let just a couple of folks hop on. Y'all, my skin is just not working for me right now, but we all go through those times in our lives where sometimes you just got a couple of blemishes. So we're gonna thank the Lord for concealer. <laughs> but y'all come and chat with me. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. So I'm going to use two different primers. Some of y'all were uh, commenting and y'all want to see my primer routine for makeup. Um, so I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is a primer that will fill in your pores for, you know, if you have anything that is, um, Exaggerated, so I put that in the center of my face. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Christine. Thank you, Crystal. Hi, Ashley. Um, and then on the outer perimeters of my face, I'm going to be using this um, e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. This is a gripping primer right here, so it's really going to lock in my foundation. Thank you, Patsy. Hi, Christy. Hi, Lisa. So, like I said, my face. I don't know what's going on. Just got some blood emissions, but it happens, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm just taking just a little bit, and like I said, I'm going to put this in the center of my face. I'm doing this before all of my makeup gets put on. Um, that way I can have time to really soak into my skin. Now, I usually use a wet beauty blender, but of course I forgot mine, and I'm going to really just push this into my pores. Feel the cracks with putty. You're absolutely right, Patsy. So, like I said, I'm working this in the center of my face. Hi, Marcy. Right here, my T-zone. And like I said, this just really will help those large pore areas. My skin's been a little bit dry. And then I got my eyebrows um, wax tinted. All that fun stuff and so I always break out right around my eyebrows hi Rhonda so I'm just really you can see I'm being real gentle pushing this into my skin my hands are clean by the way taking just a little of this thank you Rhonda and I'm putting that like I said on the perimeter of my face So if y'all don't know, um, I had made a post earlier today in the VIP group of what kind of look y'all wanted to see, and y'all voted for simple fall makeup. So, and you can kind of see, like, you can hear it. Thank you, I lost, lost two, but here, we'll look at the ones that are good. <laughs> okay. Primer is on and throughout it'll kind of get that sticky tackiness. I love the jelly primer because it smells like watermelon and it's pretty nice. Um, they say that the jelly primer is a dupe for the milk hydro grip. But there's another dupe that I want to try that's by Hard Candy. Hi Victoria. You want to get your eyebrows microbladed? I don't, I've been growing mine out for the whole year. I've got an a crazy amazing brow girl here in Jonesboro so thank you Kathy y'all are so sweet to me I love you guys find a palette with a mirror okay so I'm going to go ahead and fill my brows this is I'm using a lot of elf today I use a lot of elf in my everyday so ladies that just kind of goes to show you that you don't have to spend a lot of makeup for good quality things just like how curvy clothes are you ain't got to spend a lot of makeup but you get great quality items so I'm going to underline the bottom. And then you see the shape that I've got. Sassy brow going on. Look at them. Eyebrow spoolie. And then I'm going to do short little hair like strokes to fill it in from the bottom. Because that's where I've got the most gaps. Take my spoolie and I'm going to run it through the front of the brows. That way it's not so harsh. 
Hey girl, hey, thank you, Angela. Hi, Glenda. Are y'all doing all right today? Tell me about your day. While I'm getting ready and everything, I wanna hear about it. Cause we can like, I'm able to see the comments just a little bit better now and I'm not talking about clothes. I love talking about clothes. Remember, you try to aim for twins, hope that they're sisters, be okay if they're cousins, and if they don't look related, you might need to try again. Hi, Susan. Are you a newbie? Is that a question? You're going to a soup swap? That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I love soups. Got two more clients this afternoon. Lee, I need to come see you for a massage. But ladies, I am going to tell you one of my happies that happened yesterday. My husband and I applied for pre-approval on a home. And we were not told no. So that's definitely um, a positive in my book. So, Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Melinda. Getting over this head cold, yes. So, quite a few folks are getting getting a little bit sick, especially some of those in the office. So, I would not wish sickness on anybody. Your 13-month-old got his first tooth finally. Oh, Sierra, that's so sweet. My mom is doing great, Glenda. She's on her way to get a haircut, I believe. Hopefully, Kimberly, I'm going to start about 3 o'clock. That's 3 o'clock Central Time. No, sorry, I am a newbie. Hi, Susan. Welcome to the Kirby family. We are a um, plus-size shop here in Jonesboro, Arkansas that has a web store. So I'm going to be showing off some extended clothes in a little bit. I'm going to be an elf again. <laughs> this is the uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer. It's a great, great, great um, concealer. Brows are my hardest thing, but gradually getting better. I also use the same brow stick for mouth. I love that brow stick. I buy it all the time. It's $2. It deposits, you know, the color that I need. If you have real thick brows that you just need just a little bit, you don't need anything as harsh as that. But I like that it's easier to use than a pomade. So curvy first first time yesterday. Hi Josie, welcome. We're so glad that you're here. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and cover my spots because, like I said, my skin is just um, she doesn't. <laughs> she's just having a a go at it today. I was told now's the time to buy a house or vehicle. I've heard there's some good deals. We're hoping to do the rural development that way. It'll help us with our down payment. So, I'm just taking a brush to put down that product. Now, with this product right here, you want to make sure to tap out any creasing before you put powder or anything on top. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, beautiful. Wanda, you doing okay today? So you can use concealer as an eyeshadow primer, that's absolutely fine. However, ladies, if you have oily eyelids, concealer may not be the best route for you. So you might want to try an actual eyeshadow primer. Milani has a great one. Urban Decay has one. Quite a bit of companies nowadays are coming out with an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just tapping my little spots. I'm going to look a little crazy. Do y'all ever get any fleece lined tights or warm leggings? I believe we had some last year, Kelsey. Kelsey, the um, tummy control tights, I've actually tried them on. Granted, I'm a size 28. The only thing I found out with me, because I was stretching them just a little bit, my panties did show, like, through. However, those are very warm. So, if you're smaller than me, those tights are very, very nice. And, y'all, they, like, sucked me up. It was really good. What color is e.l.f.? If we're talking about the concealer... I'm wearing the color Light Peach in the concealer. The brow pencil, it is neutral brown. Hi, Tanya. So, 
but like I said, so you want to make sure to tap out any creases before you put powder on top. Elf is a brand of makeup, yes. So we voted for a simple fall makeup. Let me take a drink. That makeup was a um, like a copper, uh, easy copper. I I've been kind of wearing this for most of my videos lately, because y'all know I work another job, and so it's something quick and easy. I put it on a bold lip and I'm in and out the door. So what I'm actually going to be using is this beautiful big box for just about the rest of my makeup today. Sorry. So this box was about $25. It's available on Amazon. It's from Physicians Formula. All of y'all know that amazing brand at Walmart. So mine is well, well loved. So I have eyeshadows, blushes, lippies, which I will not use lippies, bronzers, and amazing highlighters. And then at the very bottom, I don't want to like break my nails. There's a mirror under here, if y'all can see. So there's quite a few different panels. Like I said, this was only $25. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kimberly. Um, it's still on Amazon right here. You got your hair bleached yesterday, Suzanne. I want to see it. But if y'all don't have a lot of makeup and you want to go ahead and get a full set, this um, kit from Physicians Formula, it's called the Ultimate... Muru Muru Butter Collection. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, Physicians Formula Ultimate Muru Muru Butter Collection. I'm going to show it one more time. That way y'all can see it. And then you can see on the back, it kind of tells you everything it's got. And like I said, ladies, this kit was only... $25. Around $25 to $30, but I think closer to $25. Hi, Delia. Yes. And two, it smells like... <laughs> I don't know. It smells so good. Okay. So, I am going to start with an all-over color right here. Let me kind of keep this up. That way, y'all can see what I'm doing. So, this is like a skin tone matte color. Make sure all those creases are blended out. Hi, Sandy. I'm going to definitely pack this up here right underneath my brow bone. Um, Physician's Formula. Muru Muru. M-U-R-U. M-U-R-U. You can put Physician's Formula Butter Collection. So if you want the link to this guy right now, right here, comment down below, say link, and I will put the Amazon link for you. Because this was like a um, holiday special, but it's still available. I'm going to pack that lighter color right here in my inner corner. So, and then I'm going to start off with a lighter brown for my crease. Yeah, I will post all of the links. You have sensitive skin, would it work for me? I don't have a problem with this. It is Physician's Formula, which a lot of their stuff is made, well, like it says, uh, Physician Formula. Because I do believe the lady that started this brand did it for folks that have a sensitivity. So, y'all see me just using windshield wiper motions, putting this in my crease as a transition color. So... Then I'm going to go with this pumpkin color right here. Can y'all see? Putting it on the same brush. I'm going to go light-handed because I can't remember off the top of my head how pigmented this is. I'm going to send you a message. There is a sweater hope I can wear today. See if it would fit. Okay. Sounds good. It may not be on the comment sold, but Miss Jana, we need to see what's going on with your um, 
notifications. But I'm glad you're here. You normally don't wear makeup. What do I suggest? Well, what kind of, what are you trying to do? Do you want to just cover up your skin? Do you want to even out your skin tone? Are you wanting to kind of go full glam? So this is just that orange color that I've been blending. Ooh, Jennifer, you checked it. How much is it? Because this is a great set, honestly. If you are a beginner, this is very beginner friendly. And it just kind of gets you started. Because you don't have to use blush for blush, bronzer for bronzer. You can actually venture out and you can use a lot of these as eyeshadows. Uh, how do I get my hair like this? Um, so these are called fun buns. <laughs> and I have actual hair pieces in. My hair is in two little bitty uh, space bun pigtails. And then I've got these on. I've got them pinned down, but let me see. See how you can see it? There's my hair. And then there's a hair piece. $23.05 on Amazon. Jennifer, you're great. Have I told you that today? Because you are. Okay. So I have that orange color. I blended it out to where it's not like super harsh. I feel like these lights are a little. Does that help y'all out? Can y'all see? Just add it to your cart. Let me know how y'all like it. Because I do. I use it quite often. I've had this for about... I think I got it for Christmas. So I just wanted that, um, like I said, just real pretty and blended. Okay. So I'm going to darken up the outer corner. I'm going to get a smaller brush. This is just a pencil type of brush. Going in with a chocolate brown color. I'm still using the same. So I can definitely use what's in here. Or I can go with the bronzers which are on this side. But I'm going to pick the color that's right beside that orange. Uh, Jennifer, they might come out with a um, another set for Christmas. Because like I said, I believe this was a Christmas set. I'm packing this on. I don't like that brush. Let me find a different one. It's just not what I wanted. Let me grab this type of brush. So I'm going to pack this on in this outer corner. The Muru Muru, um, the bronzer is kind of what started it, the Physician's Formula bronzer, and it really does have like a buttery type of scent to it. And so they started making other products. I'm just taking another brush and just blending that out. My clothes showed up. Yay! That's nice, Catherine. And what I'm doing is I'm flicking that color inside. Hey Annette, how are you? A little bit more orange back. Putting the orange on top because I feel like the brown just wasn't as, it's a little bit more cool tone. I should have used more one that was a little bit more warm toned of a brown. So now I'm going to take like a flat shader brush right here and I'm going to go in with a copper bronzy tutorials. So this one is right beside the orange. I'm going to dip it. I'm going to see how it applies with the brush. If I don't like it enough with the brush, I'm going to use my finger.
Yes, Adriana. I um, I'm literally like a addicted to Kirby and Amazon. So <laughs> it is an Amazon link. I can uh, I can post the link after I get done. Give me until probably about tomorrow. I feel like the lights are thrown off the colors. What kind of makeup is this? This is a simple fall type of look. But the products that I'm using are from this big O kit, the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Collection. Okay. So I'm actually just taking like a fluffy brush and blending that shimmer shade up just a smidgen. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on my foundation since basically my eye look is kind of done. It was that simple. So not too difficult at all. I used two, three, four, five colors on my eyes. So. And now I am just taking my foundation and a brush so um foundation what kind of skin what's your skin type how about that let's ask that question first you want to do your foundation based on your skin type and what type of look you want if you have oily skin a dewy foundation is not going to be your friend hi judy yes i do have another job i am a international trade um team lead so i help my team key shipments coming in from overseas whenever i say key i mean like tariffs if you have combo skin that one you can really do either i bought so many outfits for me oh you don't know which one to wear i guess that's a that's a good problem to have so Now you can put your foundation on with a beauty blender or a brush, just whichever you prefer. I'm just using a brush because I don't have a beauty blender. Um, and then I do like swirling and tapping motions just to get a good amount of coverage. So, oh Tammy, you can't hear me? So the one that I'm using is Revlon Color Stay. I'm using this one because it's matte and matte looks best on camera. Cause so I don't need to look like a glistening mess because I already glisten easy. So like I said, just a preference and for on camera, I prefer matte. And now I'm actually just using my concealer to highlight my face. Does it last? Because I sweat a lot. So um, to help with sweating, you need a great setting spray. Which, of course, mine's in my purse. Um, but I like the uh, Milani Make It Last. As far as foundations go, I absolutely love the L'Oreal Pro Glow and Pro Matte. So if you have oily skin, the Pro Matte's pretty good, along with this Revlon Color Stay. Uh, NARS is a great foundation, but it is pricey. If you want a beautiful skin-like type of finish, the um, Pure Foreign One Love Your Selfie is amazing. I want my under eye to be bright like this one. Just a devil, do ya? <laughs> the, um, which one are we asking? The pure foreign one, Love Your Selfie, is really good.
or the L'Oreal Pro Glow and Pro Matte Good and Natural. For Good and Natural, if you just need minimal, now all of those foundations that I told you about are pretty full coverage. If you don't need full coverage, find you a um, BB cream or CC cream. The It Cosmetics is really nice, but again, that one is full coverage. So, I will wear a BB or a CC cream just for every day. Hi, Gloria. So, right now, I'm just contouring. I do mine a little bit different than Miranda. So, I go all the way underneath and I color my chins because shadow helps take it away just a little bit. And two, it helps match my neck just a little bit better. And then I go from the top of my ear and I draw a line down. Let me show you the difference between the two. And I really focus on blending that. Then right here, and I don't know what this is called. In this area. <laughs> So I'm just using a um, contour palette from BH Cosmetics. Oh man, no, no. Let me use my physician's formula because there's contours in there. I just got, <laughs> whoopsie. So that whole kit, like I said, it's got contours in it too. So let me use them. What setting spray lasts? Okay. Setting sprays on, oh, I can name them off. So let's start off with drugstore. Drugstore setting sprays that are great. Milani has a great um, drugstore setting spray. It's the Milani Make It Last. I believe it's $8. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, Wet n Wild Photo Finish. This is a matte version. Elf just came out with a couple of setting sprays and they're pretty good. Um, I think. Yeah, those are, those are like my top three. For high end, the one that I use for my bridal clients a lot of times and for myself on my wedding day, I use the Scandinavia Bridal Set. And I had no problem with my makeup. The Urban Decay Up All Nighter is a great setting spray as well. Which is best to me. So my absolute favorite. Morphe has great setting sprays too. My absolute favorite is probably the Scandinavia Bridal Set. Um, and the Milani Make It Last. The Milani Make It Last is much easier to get than the Scandinavia. And the spray bottle is better on the Milani. So I'm going to say my top one is Milani. So, let's go ahead and contour this, this boobal snoot right here. So, you're using the same uh, contour colors. I'm going to follow the ridge of my nose down. I know it's going to look a little bit crazy. You can even take your finger, help it out. But, just make my nose look extra straight. What's bad to get rid of dark circles? A peachy color corrector. You can use a peach color right underneath here. And that would really help brighten up the darkness. And then put your concealer on top. So my concealer is a couple shades lighter than my foundation. Can y'all see how? And then two, my concealer is also light peach. So it's a peachy toned concealer. Uh, Jennifer, it's Zelul and Vugmi. So I'm going to spell it out for you. It's Z E E L O O L. Um, and then Vugmi is V O O G U E M E. Um, as far as having the clothes stick, we use Static Guard whenever it's just giving us issues. So try some Static Guard, Kimberly. But I'm glad you like your tank. 
So I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go back into that orange color and I'm going to run it along my lower lash line and connect it to my outer corner. You're welcome, Jennifer. And I want to bring that color down just a little bit. just a clean brush hi like Marla what time can y'all tell me what time I'm at because some of y'all were asking me how to tie my scarf that I normally wear and if I've got enough time I will show you Like I said, you see where that creasing is? You just got to kind of tap it out before you put any product in there. Two oh one. Oh, that's great. Thanks. So I've been on for about thirty minutes. So you see how I took that orange down underneath? That's pretty much for the eyes. I mean, was that too difficult? <sighs> nope, let me use this. Um, so here's my big collection. Here's bronzers. Here's eyeshadows. There's a good mix of mattes and shimmers. Here's blushes. Here is, let me try to hold it. You see all of those beautiful colors right there? Those are highlighters. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna drop everything I own and, and show you the highlight. I'm gonna use, uh, since I've got a lot of orange coppers, I'm going to put a really pretty golden tone right here and blend it in. I have used Unique, um, it, it did what it was advertised to do, so, thank you Sierra, so I'm just really, like I said, I want it to like pop. Uh, what did I use to contour my neck and my cheeks? I started off with the BH Cosmetics Pro Contour Palette. And then I'm like, Megan, what are you doing? You have a whole kit and caboodle right in front of your face. So I decided to use the kit and caboodle. I used the color... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's upside down. I can't read it upside down. I used... It literally just says bronzer this color right up here. I can I can do some glam. I can definitely or like uh, quite a bit more color but y'all all voted to do something a little bit more simple. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> it's more user friendly. Thank you Trisha. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the blush again. It's right in here. Let me do, I've got like coppery eyes. Let me get a brush. You love Unique, but it is expensive. I'm going to go, I look so dignified, Cassandra. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, darling. Let me go with more of a peachier blush. I love like a terracotta peachy color on my skin tone. So I'm just... I'm using the big one at the bottom. That one. So remember ladies, you know my technique whenever I put on my blush, I don't smile because if you do that, then you put your blush up really high. Or actually you do it really low, so your blush looks too low. Hi Denise. So I'm gonna just kinda look straight on and really find my apple. 
and just blend it. My mom loves blush. I don't sell the awesome palette, but you can find the palette on Amazon, Trisha. Jennifer found it. If somebody still has that link, will you post it down below so folks can get it? It's $23 for everything. Thank you, Darcy. You just started doing Itsy? Yes. So, um, my mom, Ipsy. <laughs> I know what you're saying. My mom does Ipsy, um, and I do like it. However, I feel like I get quite a bit of repeats. So, and yes, I am putting a little bit of blush right up here. And a little bit on my chin. You love the unique. Unique is I've got quite a few friends that sell it, and they can they can really pull off some looks. <sighs> Have I told y'all like how good this stuff smells? My kitten go. <laughs> so let me uh, tell y'all again. It is the Physician's Formula Ultimate Muru Muru Butter Collection. That way y'all can screenshot it. $23.05 on sale right now at Amazon. I'm not going to do eyeliner because eyeliner can be difficult. And I don't feel like I have the need to do eyeliner. But I will put on some lashes. After lashes, um, I will do highlighter and my lips. So I'm going to be using the Kiss Pompadour lashes. These are ones that I... These are... Most likely what I'm wearing in my videos. They're very nice, lightweight lashes. Let me kind of show you. Do you see how the band... Do you see how you can see the thinness of the band? And I love that. Thank you, Jennifer, for posting that. So, with the lashes, I have smaller hooded eyes. So, I do not like to put my lashes all the way in the inner corner, which means... To me, I need to trim the lashes. See how much overhang I've got? So, I've got a pair of scissors. Um, okay. Well, they said that the palette's on Ulta, too. Amber, if you look up just a couple of comments, Jamie, ha or Jamie, Jennifer has posted it for us. Excuse me for that. So, I know where I need to cut my lashes. I'm going to go ahead and trim it. So you can actually save the little babies and use them, or you don't. This is the Duo Glue. It is the brush on glue in clear. I like that it dries clear. Now, if you are, um, if you have darker skin, sometimes the clear doesn't do it the best because there will be a little bit of a cast. So, my ladies that are, um, I would say olive skin toned and darker, you might want to try the black because that can hide in your lash line. But for me, the black is too dark and it looks like I could put on a uh, liner a little bit messy. And that you might be able to after the video. Sometimes uh, it goes a little bit wonky. So I have this on. You saw me. I painted just a little bit in the inner corner and the outer corner on my actual eye. And then I coated the whole lash. So I'm going to, uh, you'll know whenever it dries, whenever the blue fades away a little bit more. So let it, let it sit for a hot second. I would say 45 seconds to a minute and then it gets real tacky and it's easier to put on. Uh oh, looks like our viewers are dropping. L ladies, if y'all could share this for me or if you'd like to or tag one of your friends in the comments, I would appreciate it. I promise I'm almost done because I'm even going to use my apple today. Alright, time to do it. 
me see if I can do it with looking away. I'm trying to see if I've got a small mirror handy. So I always place the middle first. Let me get a smaller mirror. And then I will place the outer corner. And for some reason, I always do the inner corner last. And I haven't even put on mascara yet. What glue did I use? This is the Duo Clear with the brush on. Thank you for sharing, ladies. I really appreciate it. Aren't those cute, though? And like I said, I have not even put on any mascara. So time for the next one. Be real gentle whenever you pull these out. I'm going to trim it. Now some ladies, as we all are different, you can have the option to have two different size dies. So you just kind of want to put it up there and kind of gauge it. I got these lashes from Walmart. They're also on Ulta and Amazon. These are the Kiss Pompadour lashes. Yeah, give me just a second, uh, Sandy. Let me go ahead and get this eyelash started and then I will. So whenever I put my glue on, I try to focus the glue actually on more so the bottom of the eyelash band instead of like on the top because I place it gently. And then I'm going to paint just a little bit on the inner corner in the outer corner because those are the places that lift for me the most. And then I'm going to, these are just some eyelash tweezers. Do you have to cut the lashes? No, you don't. If you have perfect eyes and they are nice and <laughs> the size, you do not. Thank you, Trisha, for posting that. I feel like these lashes, they're um, a really nice, voluminous lash that aren't too, too much. I mean, we do have uh, some, like, very, like, very dramatic lashes. And if that, I wear them sometimes, depending on my makeup look, if I would have done the, um, like really, really glamorous halo eye, then I probably would have done some bigger lashes. So remember I place it down in the center. And then outer corner. And then I'm going to do the inner corner. Thank you, Tammy. So then after that, I'm going to like squeeze my lashes and my fake lashes together. These look like they're... There we go. And then I'm literally just going to find any type of mascara. Because I got lashes on, I don't really need it to do much. And I'm just going to get it in my eye. No. I'm just like melting my lashes in those together. So see, I'm just like pushing my lashes into the falsies.
And let's get the bottom. Thank you, Megan. This is an Ipsy mascara that we got. Can't do eyelashes. You know what? Sometimes it's not for everybody, and that's okay. I didn't wear eyelashes on Wednesday. I wear glasses, so sometimes y'all can't see. And see, do I, I like the look of my waterline being nice and open. Let's see. Or, I say open. Those are lip liners. <laughs> Let's not put lip liner in my waterline. So, I'm going to use a nude color in my waterline because it makes my eyes look just a little bit bigger. It's not, it's not what I wanted. Here she is. You see how many colors I got? Jennifer, eyelashes really do take quite a bit of practice. So this is, like I said, it's a nude color. It's going to, like, really make my eyes, like, open and wide. Look at the difference between the two. More of a doe-eyed type of look, which is what I try to go for. This is with no liner, as far as on the top. Super easy and simple. Can't be bothered with the eyelash? That's okay. Alright, so while I'm going to go ahead and plump up my lips, this is the Candy Lips Lip Plumper. I've had this for like years. And so while I'm plumping up my lips, I will apply my highlight. Then we're just going to put on a beautiful burgundy lip. So, um, give me just a second. I won't be able to talk during this, but give me about, it takes about a minute. I know it's going to look a little bit crazy, but it's because I was letting that sucker, like, soak up my lips. So, thank you, Pam. I really didn't start off with pretty skin because I've got some uh, bumps and blemishes going on underneath here. Um, The gold tone, it just wasn't as blinding as I wanted, but it's still a good highlighter. I just wanted a little bit more. to take just a little bit of that color and I want to put it see if I can do it right in my orange just enough to be like oh there's just a little a little bit of it in there Okay, so my lips are bigger now. 
I love using that plumper. Sometimes I'll do it twice in a row and really get some fullness going on. I am using the lip color. This is the ColourPop in Rocket Man. And the lip pencil in Ellery, I think. Oh, that's good. So give me a second. I'm going to overline my lips. What was the apple thing? What color, what did you put on your eyebrows? My eyebrows were the e.l.f. e.l.f. pencil. Let me see. She's done this appeared on me, but it's the e.l.f. Uh, Instant Brow Lift in Neutral Brown. This is a Candy Lips Lip Plumper. It You, you squeeze it and it sucks your lips and it brings out some volume. So I just did it, but that's that on that. So let me get my hair. Like I said, I'm going to overline, and the only part I'm going to overline is right here in the center. And I'm going to make my corners match up to my actual line. I know it was a little bit crazy, but it'll get there. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this in just a little bit. Now, granted, I know this is a very dark lip color, but when's the time to wear dark except for fall? I know it looks a little splotchy. Oh, no, don't go. Don't mess it up. But that is just lip liner, so it's not meant to be a lipstick. And then, like I said, this is called Rocket Man. It is a ultra matte lip. Now we're all so quiet. I'm gonna have to fix the tops of it, but it'll be all right. I can do that with the lip liner a little bit easier. Now, that way it doesn't get on my teeth. I actually have some makeup wipes. Oh, well, thank you, Lisa. I try. Let me try to get my lips not be so wonky. <laughs> Thank you. Where did I just put that lip liner? I don't know if y'all know this, but anytime that you try to uh, video, everything will literally go. <laughs> It'll disappear on you. So let me fix this.
There we go. A little bit. Teeth look white, don't they? So if you ever have like an uh-oh around your lips with a bold lip color, you can take your concealer, but what I find with my concealer is that it's just too light, so it's like very noticeable. So I'm actually put it on the wrong hand. <laughs> Act like I've never done this before, you guys. I'm gonna take a small little detail brush. Hopefully there's not a whole bunch of product on it. What color? I'm just wearing like a um, a shimmery gold. In the, like, are you talking about in my waterline? That's a nude. Just a nude eyeliner. So I'm just using the foundation to clean up my lip line. You can see I've got a little bit of a boom. Okay, so let me take down my bangs and see how bad they are since they were up for just a hot second. They are a little rough. Let me get a brush. Sorry, I hate that I'm leaving y'all all oh, crazy. I will straighten him before I get going, but some of y'all were asking about how I do my little bow with a scarf. What time do I have? if I can see. 228. All right, just really quickly, I'm going to explain it to y'all. I just take this guy. This is a scarf with a fun metallic print on it. I'm going to tie it. Now you can do these a couple of different ways. This one right here, because the scarf has so much going for it, I said I gotta fix my bangs. I'm gonna tie it pretty tight upon my head. You can tie it in just a regular knot and tuck it in, which with my hair being in fun buns, I'm probably gonna do. So, just a square knot that helps you out. And then I'm gonna take the ends. I try to use chiffon scarves because chiffon, you can put bobby pins a lot easier. Let me see if I can turn around and show you guys. So I'm just taking that in and tucking it because this does have little frilly guys. And I'm going to pin it with a bobby pin. I like to say that. So, and then I can just play with this guy right here. So again, with the other one, I'm gonna take it. Got a bobby pin of feeling. Let's see if I can tuck it up here. All these little frills kinda We'll get you. And that's just really what I do with it. 
Just plain and simple. I know black's not the easiest color to see, but if you don't want to do the simple knot like I've got, you can definitely do your bow. And I might do that with a different scarf in my videos. But ladies, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. Fix my bangs just because they're going a little bit wonky on me. And I will be hopping on, you can probably expect me about 3 o'clock, 3.05 Central Standard Time. Thank you all for watching with me and chatting with me. I really appreciate you all. This is the look that I did. Like I said, simple fall, bold lip, because if I can't have my eyes be glam, I'm going to make my lips do it. But ladies, I appreciate you. You all are so beautiful. Yes, the frills could be hanging. They would be fun too, but just know when taking all of these clothes off and on. It'd probably be a real fun time. So ladies, like I said, thank you all so much. I will see you guys in just a couple of minutes. Bye. Mwah. Well, if it would finish. <laughs>